vegan guys. I thank you. Howdy. Okay. One man. One packet of chickpeas. One instant pot. What can we do? Let's start with the basics. Um, so what I've garnered so far, that sun is so bright. Don't you have anything softer? It's compulsory, Sheila. Um, chorus line. Uh, what I've garnered is that you can quick soak chickpeas for one hour in boiling water, then cook them in the instant pot for 40 minutes. We'll go through it. Let's start with one cup of chickpeas, which is about 190 grams of dried chickpeas. We'll cover them in boiling water for an hour, and that should be the soak. Hello, Isis. My cat. All right, step one. There is, that's one cup, one cup. And I've weighed it as well. It's a hundred. Wait, it was actually 189 grams. If we if we want to be specific, but let's say 190 grams for cash of dried chickpeas, boiling water. I'm going to cover them quite significantly, just in case they swell for one hour. I'll see you in an hour. And just in case you didn't see the vlog, which these were in. These are the chickpeas I've used. Uh, they are from um, Sainsbury's. Uh, just in case you want any of the information there, you can pause it and have a look. It does give you specific instructions, but we're trying to get the instant pot way. So 190 grams of these 500 grams in there with boiling water. All right, my loves, my back. I've just, just drained them now. Uh, so I'll see they've sw swollen up quite a bit from an hour in uh, boiling water. Now I'm gonna follow what uh, I have already read, which is like one cup of chickpeas to three cups of water, but I'm using a stock cube. So I've got a Calo stock cube in my jug there. And I'm gonna use three cups of boiling water Um, we'll get that stock cube dissolved in there. Uh, I've read that uh, you shouldn't put, I've read some people say definitely put salt in and then I've read other people say don't put salt in because it makes the skin harder for the water to get through. So I'm just doing this. Right, I'm ready to pour these and this into the instant pot. So let's get over there. Okay, please tell me by the way that you knew about these slots on the side of your instant pot for your lid to rest in. One of our fabulous friends on uh, Facebook let us know about that. Right, so, so, chickpeas in. That's one cup soaked for an hour in boiling water and then three cups of, well, I'm using stock. Oh, there's a little bit of stock left in my jug, Karen. Just a smirch. Right. Oh, I don't think she's even switched on. She wasn't. Right, now. Okay, now, do I use the steam option? What about the bean option? I know that these are preset options, but how do I do just, um, just the time? Oh, um, oh, pressure cook, 35. I'm going to put that up, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, there we go, 40 minutes, high pressure. Oh. And now we just wait for it, there we go. So I'm going to leave that to do its thing, obviously it's going to take about 10-15 minutes to uh, heat up to pressure, 
then 40 minutes of cooking and then as my good friend John from Germany has warned us, told me as soon as it finishes it will go to the keep warm option which actually keeps the pressure in there if you press cancel when it's finished it will um, depressurize much much quicker look at our wall there from our lights you know them lights we use when we're doing lives and stuff that's what that's what that is this that isn't that isn't that's from this anyway there we go it's on they're cooking the experiment have begun okay she's just beeped says she's finished so i'm going to click cancel and we're going to do natural release and wait until this little silver button here uh, depresses and then we'll open the pot up and see what the lovely beans are like my darlings all right uh, it's about 15 minutes later uh, this would seem to be safe to open now there's no release left so let's go for it There we go. There's our cooked chickpeas. Mm. Leave these to cool for a little bit. Get the pot out, drain them, and then, uh, well, or maybe I hear Jason. Jason's here. Hi Jason. Hi, I've come to make a brew. Um, oh, 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 you're ever so dark. Why, why, why don't you try? We've got no light on. One of these chickpeas. Oh, okay. I, can't, I can't see you now. I'll try one too. Thank you, I needed a hand. Careful, they're very hot. Oh, they're soft and tasty. Did you put a stock cube in? I did. You exactly you can can't you it's kind of right um so i think we'll get on leave this to cool for a bit and then we're going to make um a mock tuna jason we're going to make a mock tuna with with last packet of these that i got from sainsbury's the gorgeous by the way 22 calories but i'm going to use a couple of the sheets of that and onion for the tuna and I'm going to make a classic um, hummus. Can I make hummus warm? That's another question. Can you answer me? What you say you? No. You are. You're my husband. Okie dog. That was lovely seeing the hubster. Um, I think it might be wise to try and do the kind of tuna alternative where, whilst the chickpeas are still warm. So I'm going to use about half, or maybe a bit less actually. I'm going to use about just under half of the chickpeas and I'm just going to smush them with a masher rather than <coughs> uh, food process them, oh excuse me, which is what I will do with the uh, hummus. Oops. use one of these as I showed you before uh, lovely little packets for 22 calorie snack you know when you're feeling a bit petrish and you want something savoury of an evening and I'm not going to use all of it in there because as you can see there's quite a lot in a packet so I'm just going to basically crumble this kind of Maybe two or three of them. Like this. I think that 
gifts will be absolutely plenty. So I'm just kind of pressing with the back of the fork of the spoon. I'm pressing the remaining um, chickpeas that I've still got some shape to them. Like this. Bit of sea salt in there, I think. fine sea salt. I'm going to put a crack of black pepper in there. And then an end just that much <sighs> and then because years and years and years ago when the last time I had kind of tuna uh, I would have had tuna and onion. So I'm going to put quite a bit of chopped onion in there. And then when it comes to actually making it into sandwiches, I think with mayo, that's going to be lovely. But I'll give it a little taste. Flip my camera up. Oh. Hi, can you see me? Hi. Let's give it a little taste like that. For me, that's perfect. That's lovely. Slightly reminiscent of tuna. Um, but of course, you know, it's just chickpea, seaweed, onion, lemon juice and salt. And there we go. I mean, it could even handle some more lemon juice, really. But, like that, it's quite lovely. And all that seaweed left to snack on. I have to put that away now. Mmm. Fresh cooked chickpeas from the Instant Pot. Tuna style sandwich dressing. Mix it with a bit of mayonnaise. Paul's your uncle, Jason's your auntie. Jobs are good. I'm going to put some cuts in this segment because of the noisy food processor. Uh, but I am going to use the rest of these chickpeas that I've just cooked in the Instant Pot in the food processor. Uh, I'm going to make a huge batch of lovely um, hummus. Um, and if you've seen me make hummus before, I've never made it with warm chickpeas before, so a bit of an experiment. I mean, they're only slightly warm, but they are warm. Right, so here I've got uh, tahini from Sainsbury's. It's very liquidy in the jar. It's about two pound a jar. Get made before. Uh, good batches of hummus out of it. Uh, this is a frozen uh, garlic, <laughs> frozen frozen garlic from uh, Sainsbury's again. And I do have the two bits of lemon I didn't just use for my tuna, and I'm going to squeeze them into here as well. So here we go. <laughs> Now, it's fair to tell you here that usually 
out because I would use a tin of chickpeas, I've started making hummus with aquafaba um, and I've just drained away all the bloody juice of that, which was probably aquafaba, like a damn fool. So I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil and make a luxury hummus. Sue me. I'm also going to use one of our um, lemon ice cubes that we have uh, in the morning. Uh, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop it up there now. We have one of these in a cup of boiling water in the morning. I'm going to put one of these in there because ice helps hummus. Break down. I think we've got enough tahini in there now. Let's just put a little bit of salt in there. Uh, if only I could find the right utensil. Just have a bit of a scrape down, like so. I'm going to use the spoon I've just used for the tahini but there you can see we've got a rather fabulous looking hummus give it a quick taste even though it's it'll be warm oh my god that's gorgeous mmm Oh, that's a beautiful, thick, creamy, delicious hummus. That's truly amazing. I mean, the thing is with hummus, you've got to do your own kind of um, amounts, you know. But for that amount of chickpeas, a good three heat teaspoons of tahini, if not two tablespoons, really. A good glug of lemon juice, good bit of garlic. Absolutely beautiful. So, from 190 grams of chickpeas, we've soaked them in boiling water for an hour. We've cooked them for 40 minutes on high pressure. We've took them out, drained them, and we've made a tuna spread style and a hummus. I'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other.